Season 1, Episode 19, The Siege of the North, Part 1. Very exciting. And the big stuff here. Cool. <laughs> Super cool. <laughs> Dude, she is so good. Her determination is crazy. Mm-hmm. I figure since you've got time to play with house pets, you must have already mastered. <laughs> I wouldn't say mastered, but check this out. <laughs> you need to meet my good friend Appa. Who? Appa <laughs> and I go way back. Don't yeah, we way back. Ah, yeah, they were not great friends. <laughs> so how does this work? You hanging on tight? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. D <laughs> My goodness! That'd be scary, <laughs> dude. But day. cool. Yeah, we pretty much live up here. <laughs> Always this cold in the sky? Not when you're with someone. It's beautiful up here. Yeah. It's not happening. Ooh, yeah. ah, good times, good times. Mm. Hey, look. Ash. Oh, no. oh, this place is about to be melted to the ground. Yeah, this is bad. It's crazy. Their presence is so large. It literally changes the weather when they approach. That is insane. Soot. What? I've seen it before. Right before my village was attacked. It's soot mixed with snow. Tell the captains to prepare for first strike. Yikes. Yep, they're coming in hot too. Pun not intended. <laughs> Well, gotta work quick. What's wrong? We have to go. No, Saka, wait. I can't see you anymore. Not at all. What? We're just friends. I wish we could just be friends, but I like you too much, and it's too confusing to be around you. I'm marrying someone else. You don't love him, do you? Clearly not. <laughs> but I do love my people. You're not marrying them. You don't understand. I have duties to my father, to my tribe. I have to do this. Goodbye. Spirit of the ocean, spirit of the moon, be with us. I'm going to need volunteers for a dangerous mission. Count me in. Sokka. Be warned. Many of you will not return. Come forward to receive my mark if you accept the task. Hmm. Ooh, what a shot. 
I'm not going to say I'm making it in my thumbnail because every time I say that, I don't. <laughs> Ooh. Artillery. Dang. That was an abrupt cut. Dude. Seeing how many ships they have, just, this is just one ship doing all this. This place is coming to the ground. Man. Man, that sucks. Cool. Cool. God, I love how acrobatic he is. It's so cool. Nice. I hope we get to see him use his air and water bending, by the way. You know, get like a mix of both for this like final battle for the season. That would be sick. Solid. That was one ship. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You're doomed. You, gotta be me. Yeah, you need to make a tsunami or something, man. Cause... Then, you'll be infiltrating the Fire wow. Nation Navy. That means you'll all need one of these uniforms. Those look really cool. <laughs> Well, they don't, but that still looks cool, I will admit. But no, he's right. They do have drip. These are real uniforms captured from actual Fire Navy soldiers. From, like, forever ago. When, like, a hundred years ago. Yeah, exactly. 85. <laughs> the Fire Nation doesn't wear shoulder spikes anymore. The newer uniforms are more streamlined. How do we know we can trust this guy? Such bull talk. For Honestly, these old costumes look way cooler than the new ones. <laughs> they should have stuck with that. I like the spiky shoulder pads. They're goofy and big. Why doesn't why doesn't Sokka just lead the mission at this point? He's the one she's marrying. <laughs> nice. I was not expecting that. Okay. Stopped firing. Aang! I can't do it. I can't do it. What happened? Must have taken out a dozen fire navy ships, but there's just too many of them. I can't fight them all. But you have to. You're the avatar. I'm just one kid. Yeah. People overestimate him too much. Like, literally, he said he took out a dozen ships. That is so many, but there are hundreds of them. It is literally an impossible task. I wonder how they're going to pull it off. Or if they will. They might lose. I don't really know. But this is really cool. I like this. It's intense. There's actual stakes here. Sorry, I just nag you because, well, ever 
says I lost my son. Uncle, you don't have to say it. I think of you as my own. We'll see. I kind of hope. I hope he's fine. I mean, I know he's like one of the antagonists, but like, I still care about him. <laughs> they're gonna fail they're gonna fail because he's off the mission now because he knows everything about them it's Admiral Zhao. Yeah, they can't even say his name right either he's saying what was what he saying soka or something like that Are those like sea turtle walruses <laughs> huh every animal in the show is like a hybrid <laughs> Oh. That's That's really cool actually because yeah, the moon does actually affect tides and stuff. That's actually a really cool like lore way to implement how they learned how to water bend. I'm guessing it's very secluded. Ooh, that's cool. Nice, nice. This place is really beautiful. This is actually a really clever idea of getting the spirit on to connect with the moon and like I'm guessing we're gonna find some way to super overpower everyone the entire navy you know also is he gonna run into them because it looks like he went through the underground tunnels where it might be warmer so he actually he might run into them uh oh Oh. What, you want me to scrub the barracks? I want you to guard my daughter, Princess Yue. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, you don't even know where she is right now. She's in the spirit place. I have to admire his dedication, by the way. He is getting himself into near-death situations this entire episode. It is crazy. Like, if I did anything he was doing, I would be dead already. I would have drowned. Like, this... I have to admire his determination. Literally insane. He's like, he doesn't even know where he's going. Like, he could end up getting into a water cave that he's stuck under for, like, ever. Hmm, smart. Oh, nice. Why is he 
For some reason, I thought he was going to pop up in here, like, to the water, but, you know, it makes sense. He's in town now. Yeah, they need to stop talking. <laughs> Yin and Yang. I hope. Well, that's really funny. that Because uh, <laughs> the whole time I'm like, oh, he's going to pop up here. And then when he popped up into the sewer, I was like, oh, I guess not. Nope, I guess I was right the whole time. This will be a cool face-off. Nice. Nice. Let's go. <laughs> Don't underestimate me. <laughs> cool. I don't know what she's doing with her hands, but it's cool. <laughs> Freeze it. There you go. Their attack's about to resume. It's daybreak at last. Let's write history. It's gonna melt. Yep. Well, he melted it, but still. Yikes. Oh. Ooh, that's rough. Water tribe can try to resist the inevitable. Yeah, I wonder what he's going to do with him. Specifically. Oh, he's still in that trance state? I assumed as soon as he got moved, he would wake up. But no, he still seems to be in that, uh, he still seems to be unconscious. I wonder where he's taking him. I like, I, I wonder what his goal is. Very intriguing. Ooh, interesting. This was a very solid episode. I, get, I bet you part two is going to be bonkers off the wall for a season finale. But this was super solid for a part one. Like finding this little spiritual place for him to actually like get into his, you know, meditation zone and stuff. That was super cool seeing that in the whole yin and yang. Zuko infiltrating undercover. I thought that was really cool. And I really have to admire his dedication because literally he's gotten himself killed almost multiple times in this episode or at least situations I would end up dying in. So like, I really would have to admire his dedication to, to his cause. Um, seeing Katara be able to fight is cool. And just the whole planning for the attack and the attack that happened and the attack that happened wasn't like much and they had to wait for daybreak and now they're coming in full force. This was just a very, very entertaining and solid episode. Definitely one of my favorites. Just like last episode was one of my favorites of the season. This is also one of my favorites. Honestly, I couldn't tell you which one is my favorite episode of the entire season so far. Because uh, there's been about 20 now. But super good. I was thoroughly entertained the whole time. And I'm very curious what's going to happen now. Because he's still in the spirit realm right now. At least in that trance state. Um... So it just makes me wonder, like, what kind of help he's going to get inside of there, you know? Super cool. But the first half of this being, like, the entire, you know, battle and the second half trying to find an alternate way to win. 
um, I'm just excited to see how this battle commences and uh, or completes rather uh, in the next episode and what kind of special spiritual power we're going to pull out to overcome the entire navy we'll see I don't know I'm assuming we will there's a good chance we can lose I don't know but I'm here for it all I'm here to see I'm very intrigued to see where this goes there's a lot of possibilities about what could happen and so I'm excited so yeah with that being said I guess I'll see you in the season finale I'm very excited to see this these last three episodes are two. The last one, this one, and I'm guessing the next episode. Very solid. Ever since we got up to the North Pole, it has been banger after banger. So, yes, please. I love this. All right, anyways. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one.